Hi everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel, Joy Unlimited, where I'll be sharing the things that m make me happy. Today, we're going to be doing another one of these reacting shows. And, I, and this time, other than last one, I was reacting to how to how they made bubblegum, but now I'm re I'm reacting on how they made like jelly sweets, basically gummy bears. So hopefully, it's not that gross. If it is gross. Yeah, it's, let's just, anyway. Kids love nothing more than sweets they can pull and stretch. Which probably explains why jellied sweets and licorice have always been sticky favorites. Just don't tell your dentist. Ooh, looks yummy. Everyone calls this red licorice, but there's actually no licorice root in it. The ingredients are wheat, sugar, and corn syrup, with red food dye and both artificial and natural strawberry flavoring. Okay. The mixture is cooked for two hours at 102 degrees Celsius, which transforms it into a... Okay, guys, I just have to say, that picture just looked... I'm going to scroll this back. Not this. Artificial and natural strawberry okay. flavoring. The mixture is cooked for two hours... At this picture... This looks like the hot, like, hot dogs. Like, when they, like, they look like oily, buttery hot dog pig things. It's just, it's gross. 102 degrees Celsius, which transforms it into a thick paste. The mixture cools down and is put through extruders, which work like icing nozzles, shaping the paste into a design such as twirls. A water lubricated knife slices the continuous strips into 18 and 21 centimeter lengths. The water also rinses off any buildup on the blade. They look really interesting. I like them. The licorice. But licorice, they said, is not licorice. That's interesting. Yeah. Stacked trays of cut twirls go into an oven to dry for eight hours at 60 degrees Celsius. As the excess moisture evaporates, the licorice shrivels. They actually look really good. I mean, they look like little beef. Like, look at that picture, guys. If you look closely, they look kind of like little beef jerky sticks. Like, trader... You no, know, like snack jacks or something. But I love beef jerky, so don't think I mean this as gross. Workers then weigh the licorice, and it's off to packaging. Oh, that's simple. Like anyone can make this. To make jelly sweets. They use what are called printing boards, large sheets with raised shapes. To make jelly worms, for example, they mount the jelly worm board on a stamping machine which punches shapes into trays of cornstarch. This creates a series of cornstarch molds. Ooh, they look really cool. They look really nice. I like them. Don't you guys? In another part of the factory, a machine mixes gelatin. Yeah, and just saying, don't, like, before I continue this video, I'm going to give you some time to, like, comment what, like, you think about these things. So I'm just going to give you, like, five seconds right now. So starting now. One, two... Three, four, five and a quarter, five and a half, okay, six, six seconds, really seven, okay, ten. All right, guys, so you should have subscribed, add a nice comment, and hit the bell by then. But anyway, let's continue this video. Sugar, corn syrup, color, and flavoring. Guys, that kind of, re like, reminds me of, like, um, 
like oh like um like a cake batter yeah like a cake batter or like in the blue ones look like icing like really liquidy icing cooks the mixture at 115 degrees celsius a machine called the depositor pours the mixture into the cornstarch worm molds they look so actually they look tempting now have they have color molds then go into a refrigerated room in 12 to 15 hours the sweets cool and solidify wow they look so good i just want one Yum. The machine then flips the sweets out of the trays. As the cornstarch molds disintegrate, a... Like, guys, I have a confession to make. Like, I never ordered or, like, got at any store gummy worms because I thought they had, like, real worms inside the gummy worms. Like, I was always scared of, like, me eating a worm. <laughs> so, and now I know that's not true. <laughs> Div filters out the lumps, then recycles the deposits into new cornstarch trays for the next batch. Cool. The sweets go through a cleaner as they like their shape kind of looks like a horseshoe. Yeah, if you like know what I mean, like a horseshoe. Spin air nozzles blast off the cornstarch. Oh, that looks so yummy like a sugar like like guys do you like know those non-sweet like little peppermint things it looks like those little crystal sugar things that's on there it looks really good the next drop coats the sweets with mineral oil to make them shiny mm. oh those are like so yummy I just have to eat one. But they're on screen. A firm so favorite yeah. with kids and adults alike. Many fishermen actually use the jellied worms for bait. What? Okay, I would like to know a question to this. I would like to add a comment to this video. Like, do, like, who in the world, who fish, who fishes and puts gummy worms on the bait like no like no fish would go for a gummy worm like fish can at least see the color red or something or like at least see the color black like gummy worms like <laughs> Before packaging, the workers weed out any sweets that are stretched or have stuck together. They look really yummy. Sounds like a child's job made in heaven. Anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. See you next time. I'm sorry. See you next time, guys, um, on my channel. Maybe we'll be watching how jelly beans are made. Who knows? Bye, everyone.